Greetings, this is Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 1. Well, it's a redo of the, my let of my Let's Play The Sims 1. Uh, never mind. Well, but now we've seen the Nubi family and the Goth family. So now it's time to get to the start of our show. Okay. Is it going to be the Pleasants? Is it going to be the Rumis? Is it going to be Michael Bachelor? No, it's not going to be any of them. You know. Okay, so it's not many by today's standards, but back then this was, yeah, pretty much the creme de la creme. This was what options were all about back in the day. You know, I mean, not sure where they were going with this, but the key was basically less in the warm waters and kicked off the fan franchise that's still going strong today. Despite outrage by the fans at the moment, so we don't know how long that's going on, but still, sometimes it's better to uh, keep your head down, look back, and remember where you came from. Okay, let's do a nice little bio. Before you ask, yes, this is me. There we go. So you ask, well, that's mostly true. After all, I haven't actually moved to the neighborhood, but the rest of it's pretty much true. So we'll go with that. Okay, what's interesting is this here, uh, you might have noticed that we've got astrological signs. Now, in many of the Sims games, this doesn't really have any meaning. And it's entirely possible that you can have twins with entirely different star signs, however absurd that is. What's twins that uh, whose birthdays are, te are technically different according to their background? And it's like, well, yeah, it's just you know, meaningless bit of something to talk about, or a meaningless bit, a meaningless bit of characterisation for people in some of the later games. But in the first game, you could actually use your star sign because they correlated roughly to uh, various personality uh, stereotypes. For example, Taurus is extremely playful. 
So, and he's well known for having fun, for having fun. And basically, that is that is a typical Torian trait, believe it or not. There's Gemini, who are active and tend to be fairly nice. Cancer that's well balanced. Leos are notoriously social. Virgos are extremely neat. And so forth and so forth. I mean, active and playful Sagittarians, yep. Extremely lazy Capricorns. We will go with playful with Torium, which is playful, which is me. And yeah. No, just make that change a bit of a that should be about right. Something like that. I mean I might be able to Down to a two for neat. Slowly. Yeah, we'll go something like that. Ah, that's pretty good for some tickling. Because these correspond to the personality traits, as you know. We've basically got 15 points to put in whatever we want. We could have a middle of the road. But, to be honest, who doesn't essentially try and create themselves in the series? It's pretty much how everyone started. It's probably one of the easiest ways to engage in the game because it's a life because it's a life simulation, if not necessarily a lifetime simulation, and we're surrounded by life. So putting friends and family, there's plenty of inspiration there to draw from. But anyway, so we're done. Okay, and we can add another one to the family, but we won't. Because I want to start with just me right now. So, finished? Yes. I'm up here. We will move in to Six Simlane. Okay. Now. So, Six Simlane. It's a few basic bits. But... It's not too much to go home about, but we've got some money to play around with and decide what we want to do. So, I think first off, what we need to do is find a job. Now, this is always the same because these are placed here. Because the, so I know what job this is. And it's a extremely good as a starting career. It's one they recommend. There you go, it's a military for a recruit. That gives us a whole day to decide what we're going with on that regard. So, recruit. Buzz cuts and boot camp. Sorry, buzz cuts and boot camp. I don't know, but I've been told scrubbing latrines gets mighty old. Better maintain prime physical shape to advance from the trenches. Not only will you be stronger, but your uniform will look even better on you than it does now. So, basically, it's an early morning career. So, uh, but it has a low friendship requirement, and because you generally get back early enough, you have plenty of time to socialise in the afternoon to get out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time here for a while, and we'll do the basics. So... Let's go to buy mode. Okay. Because the key. Let's rearrange this as we mean to. Okay. We have 
these here. This is the new Micah kitchen counter. Out with the old and in with the new. These aren't kitchen count these aren't the kitchen counters you grow up with. Miracles in plastic recovery rates have made counters made of new mica the choice of food shoppers and thrifty shoppers everywhere. Features a resilient food preparation service and plumbing hookup for sink installation. Start making bread instead of spending it. There we go. It's always useful to have some more counters. Where we go with that? In fact, we'll bring you down there for now. Uh, Is this? this is the Wicked Breeze end table. Come back to the islands. Wicked Breeze con combines turn of the century resort styling with 20th century technology. Perfectly acceptable in a home, these elegant and graceful sim wicker tables can enjoy the elegant outdoors as well. Wicker with a twist. Wicked Breeze. For sure. We'll have a nice little end table. We've got our fridge. Um. And we got that for now. So that's the food done. Okay, we could probably do a bit more if we wanted. But to be honest, there's not really much point. Except we'll be probably eating a load of salads. So. But let's. Don't spend all our money at once, do we? Okay, let's go. I like to move this right here because there's the bed and obviously with an early with an uh, with an early shift we're gonna need an alarm clock. I can show you what it's like without an alarm clock, but it is not good. But so we can always do that, but you know we will want an alarm clock at some point. Of course, me being the me you down now because the one thing we cannot have no oh, sorry the one thing we cannot not have is a computer so we'll be putting that in mesquite desk table sniff the sawdust and the old saloon aromas when using this western inspired desk table made from hardy mesquite whether used as a cost effective computer desk and table for a small kitchen or as part of an overall southern western theme Desk tables parlay a bygone era's rustic outlook and distressed economy. So, okay, we are so getting a computer, even if it's a cheap one. Specialising in refurbished computers, Moneywell assembles new systems from old parts, some still under five year warranty. A great educational tool for kids, all systems include. Free a job seek software, game bundle, protocol converter, and a 28.8 mode. Spend money well with a money well computer. It has a fun rating of free and it increases the study of children. So they can use it to do homework. Ooh, 28.8 modem, yes. Well, yeah, that wasn't exactly big. So. But considering this is supposed to be a low-end computer of the time, 28k modem, well, you're lucky, to be honest, lucky to have a modem at all. But hey, enough said about that. We will go with a nice office chair. Posture plus office chair, comfort, health, value. We've merged the logic of procedural chair peripherals with the science of ergonomics to create a chair that makes sense. Comfortably priced, the Posture Plus is the seatware solution of sit for Sims desk and table interface challenges. There we go. And because this is me, and I know because this, <laughs> I actually have several of these, this, we're going to have a love and hate lava lamp. Everything old is new again. Give your den that kitschy touch with the classic lava lamp. 
The glass is extra thick tempered to withstand bumps and scratches and the base is high quality brush steel with a small secret compartment. It's a shot. We'll have a laugh at that. Okay, we have shower, we have toilet. But I think we will need to have a sink. Anderson, Andersonville pedestal sink. An elegant period style bathroom suite. The Andersonville takes hygiene to the Victorian era and is produced to the exacting standards required by the demands of modern sinks. The classical fluted pedestal and shell design give the Andersonville its strength of character. Okay. So, we'll put you there. Not uh, really got room for much of it, but that will do. Just that done. Uh, pine Gulcher end table. Pine Gulcher means value. Made of machine chipped and glue hardened rubber wood, our accent tables are vacuum laminated to ensure minimal formaldehyde emissions. This contributes to the optimum strength and smooth finish on all surfaces. So yeah. And of course, snooze more alarm clock. Who has the time to sleep these days? Hectic hours and stressful living have made REM sleep a thing of the past. Make sure jobs don't end up a thing of the past by waking up early to the stylish, unforgettable sounds of the smooth snooze more alarm clock. Get that in, we'll need that later. Okay, so, is that done? What else do we need? Well, we don't have much of a living room, we've got but fun for us, but that's about it. It's, and if we've got any room, we can carry on kitting out that kitchen. I think it's kind of important that we get... Well, sofa is always good. So, let's go with a nice cheap sofa. Con the Contempo Love Seat. Part of our Contempto, sorry, the Contempto. Part of our Contempto for the Home collection. Get that contempt for the home, contempt home. Our love seat makes a cosy nest on its own or a charming addition to our co contempto couch. Independently compensated couch specialists say that Sims may experience slightly more comfort due to the vertical as opposed to horizontal striping. Nylon shell, foam cushions, durable plastic legs, colour, nicotine. That's comfort free and an energy rating of four. It's great. Here's what we want for now. We don't need much else better than that, not really. What we, ne what we need is a television. Can't get more fun. Monochrome TV. There's something to be said for watching TV and movies in black and white. Who wants higher definition, higher fidelity and higher cost when Sims can get a little entertainment at a low, low, low price? So yeah, there we go. And you notice looking that there isn't actually a lot. There wasn't actually a lot of stuff in the first Sim games, but the stuff that was there was pretty functional, pretty basic, and they quickly added to it once they saw just how much desire there was. So I look for some improvements. Uh, okay. Appliances, things, decorations. Wow. Surfaces and seating. Well, we've got pretty much much of everything. Uh, food isn't going to be particularly brilliant. But hey, that'll do for now. We do. Oh yes, we like this one. Bottle lamp. What will those Sim City kids think of next? Using only garage sale cast off and donated electrical hardware, Mrs. Farsheim's 10th grade shop class collaborated to make these elegant table lamps in their school colours. Go, llamas! 
light up Sims lives and the local school budget with the purchase of these lovingly handmade lamps. There we go. Lovingly handmade lamps. So yeah, we're done with that. Let's get some decorations in, I think, just for the sheer sake of it. Which is going to be... This is... Uh, what have we got? We got... doing much out there got lights in here for now sure we'll do this tragic clown painting the paradoxical image of the sad hobo clown touches on humanity's emotions secrets pathos and comedy he is funny but not on purpose a trait many buyers find in themselves Previously only available to savvy catalogue buyers and limited edition plate collectors, the Tragic Clan is now available everywhere. So, yeah, I think that's us done. For now, we could, that's enough to get by while we do what we want to do. Because, basically, but we'll let Christina get on with it. Do mm -hmm. she, we have some fun. It's pretty good. So at the moment she's just scouting out the new stuff that she's picked up. Uh -huh. Which is, yeah, it's good. It's about the same cost as everything else, which is basically cheap. Maybe a little bit of tackiness. Uh -uh. Like the lava lamp, which is... Whew. Perhaps it's because it's not switched on. Switch it on and then see if you like it. Yeah, that's much better. Meanwhile... Should you watch on a black and white TV? Horror, of course. <sighs> yes, I'm clearly laughing at the flight of all the uh, young women that are running through the sprinklers as they're trying to escape from the latest Michael Myers knockoff. known as the welcome wagon which is basically at nine o'clock in the morning if you're not actually working a bunch of neighbors come round and say hello in this case it's the goths See how they get on. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, that's a good sign. Yep. Christina and Bella are going to head it off because they like talking about travel. So with a bit of luck, they could become good friends. 
would add one of them. Um, We've already got guests, so we won't bother uh -huh. greeting uh, Bob Moby. <laughs> Because the sad fact is that once you've met everyone in the neighbourhood, people stop coming around. Although, sometimes they might walk past, but it's very rare. Oh yeah. She's gonna get on well with both of those, isn't she? But then there's a reason for that. Those multiple doffers are toilets. To an unusual fondness for insects, apparently. <laughs> so there's only one thing for it. Let's bring you in. Bring in the paper. And go with. What do you want? You are. You want to have lunch. You just want to have lunch. You're just going to have lunch on your own. Ignore everyone else. That's the Sims for you. And look at these glorious cooking skills. All that platter. And she's got a sack. Yep, it's a sack. You'll see as soon as it goes to. Salad! No way to cook this quick meal, so it's been eaten out of the box, but it's not, it's been all eaten off the plate. But yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> you know what? Let's serve some salad. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty flush with cash right now, that allowed. You can pay next time. Much of a dinner party, but hey, it's a salad party. It's Yeah. 
so rude. Watch it here, Tully. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting some good. I mean, they're still relatively strangers, but we're getting some pretty good vibes. <laughs> So, Christina is off to a good start. Oh. <laughs> And she's done watching telly now. said it can be quite fun just to sit here and <laughs> see what happens really just watch what goes on in certain things you can direct it as you want or not as the case may be Okay, for some reason, music, I thought that's a weird one, but never mind. Well, it's not weird, it's just. Ah. 
Do we want to get to know Betty? Nah. So we're not in right now. Oh, who are we kidding? Of course we want to get to know Betty. How's she gonna get on with Betty? Ooh, music. Doesn't like talking about music. Is money a good topic? No. Dag, dag. Bye bye, Bella. I know get tired, but that's not a surprise. They've been there all day. Okay, and then there's the, the fun part about the Sims moving around. It wasn't perfect, you know, that's more because it's like, I want you to get out of the way, but you're in the way, I want to get out of the way, no way. Which is why you've got to think about management flows and why we'd often see people walking around buildings. It's like, you know what, instead of going through the house from the back garden, I'll just walk around from the garden. Okay, and there we have Bob basically walking past his wife like she's nothing, like she's dirt. trying to be nice and I am not in the mood for that. That is not good. Didn't want, didn't want Betty as a friend anyway. And I barely can talk, they've got nothing in common and she comes up and goes, are you right? like, Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Yeah, let's just say, it's, you can tell that Christine is not as nice. She's not nasty, she's just not nice. Oh, what's this, what's this one? We got... Yeah! Sports! Okay, who is this person? But at least they've found some common ground, but is it too little too late? It may well be, but who knows? Okay, 
It's a couple of just tackled up and cheat too much. Getting tired, are we? Well, I've got a positive, but I don't think she's anywhere near as positive as I am about me. To be honest, go die in a ditch somewhere. Thanks for that laugh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to call it there. Just turn the lights off, get into bed, and we'll prepare for a busy day tomorrow. And of course, just rude. But hey, it's not like anything kind of bad is going to happen from that, is it? <sighs> so, bit of a state because the house isn't exactly brilliant, but everybody needs to start somewhere, right? In the meantime, let's go back to the neighbourhood. We now have a total of six sims in our neighbourhood. And I can be friends with up to five of them. Yay! So that's not bad, that's not bad at start. Anyway. Next episode, we will get back to looking at Darvain's life in the neighbourhood. But until then, this has been Darvain and doing Let's Play The Sims. If you like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. And until the next time, goodbye.